Hey, this is Scott Law, the world's oldest vlogger, and we got a new vehicle. Now we got to do something with it. And one of the things we're going to do is dress it up a little bit, uh, at least protect it. Maybe it doesn't dress it up too much, but hopefully it will protect it. I've never heard or tried these last fits before. I paid regular retail price on the last fit website. They don't know that I'm doing this. Um, so we're going to take a look at them and see if they're as good as some of the people say they are. Some of them that had links and we're trying to sell them. So we're going to take a look and see from an independent standpoint. There's no advertising, no pay. I paid, like I said, I paid full retail for it. So let's take a look at these and see uh, if they are as good as they say. First thing I did is take them out of the box and put them here on my living room floor uh, and give them, actually that's been two full days out here, uh, mostly just waiting to kind of get all of the folds out. Some folds there for the reason that they need to be there because that's the way the, the car folds. Uh, and I'll tell you, they did flatten out very nicely. I'm quite impressed with the way that the uh, folds that you don't want did come out. Now let's see what they look like laying on the car floor. What's in there now is these carpets that came with it. Obviously they have the very important piece here of safety to hold them into place. Uh, you can see they're a little bit dirty. I mean we've only had the car for what, uh, just a day over a week and there's even some some dust under there. Uh, so I think I'm going to pause this now and clean that out. And here we go. Yeah, it goes up there, up there above the and behind, now notice that underneath there's a, uh, the pins, little pins that go into the carpet to hold it much like the carpet that came out. And also, this last fit is not just a painted on, it's actually a piece of plastic, white plastic that's in there. So it's going to be there forever and ever. And then we snap these down in here. There's, those are not molded in there, actually. Uh, there we go. There we go. And then... A little bit of an effort to put those in. This one over here snapped in good, but this one over here is giving me a little bit of a fight. Huh. Okay, so far 
there we go there we go okay all right so all right this is a brand new installation and I like it so far look how nicely that fits right along there and it comes around the corner a lot more than the the rug did and up here giving me a good yeah and and that's a good tread there's not going to be any slipping on there unless you put something that's slippery on it but uh, that fits good in there so far I'm impressed with this side okay good grip I will talk about it after I drive it around for a little while and see but uh, I want to get this out before I drive it too far so there it is right now good fit okay let's look at this other side the passenger side now this is interesting it's got a pin that says VIN on it and I don't have a clue what that's for why it's there but anyway it doesn't matter we're gonna hide it it was it was hidden under the other rug I already took the other rug out I didn't see any point in you getting in on that excitement this time I'm going to try the one that goes in first first and then oh yeah that snapped right in there just like the other one this one does have plastic on the back where the uh, last fit is that is a pretty gorgeous fit so far now like I said after traffic goes in and out and steps on it and put rest their feet on it and stuff we'll see if it comes up here loose see how that does right there but we'll see uh, it's not as snug and tight along this edge see how my finger can see how my finger can get underneath there and along there so it's not nearly as snug on the passenger side as it is on the driver's side but uh, I do like really well how it goes around the corner here flushes up against there but yeah it's it's not as not as good on the passenger side as it is on the on the driver's side from what I can see so far but we'll watch and see how it goes all right so this next piece is one big long piece you can see it I hope you can and uh, I'm uh, just figuring this out as I go here yeah that's the way that's the way it goes in all right so that just lays right in there pretty quick flips right under there I had the seats all the way back to make sure there was plenty of room there's our snaps you can definitely tell when that's locked in uh, I'm gonna have to go around the other side to do that one all right there we go boy those lock in tight now these back ones again we'll have to see how they form over time there is a little bit of a, a gap right here right now I love the way that lay down over here at the side oh I forgot to show you there's tabs on here and I think that's a kind of a cool idea that goes under there like that this one over here hopefully you can see that goes in like that a little bit of space right around here and here but you know what it still covers a whole lot more than the uh, than the carpets themselves the carpets just covered in the in the bottom area there so okay there's row number two not too difficult looking good along here a little bit of a gap here what if we put it down underneath there how yeah, that helps by pushing that down underneath there that made a huge difference and here is this middle piece and uh, now I will tell you the truth the 
we didn't buy this to haul a lot of passengers. So this, these back seats will probably be, you know what I'm gonna do, I'm going to use a little brains here. Move that up like that. So that's how you get passengers in the back. What is this thing here? See what happens when you get a brand new car. All right. Uh, this vehicle will not have a lot of people in it. Uh, we got it. We got the three-seater because we intend to travel some, and. comes a nice sound and motorcycle around the corner. We intend to travel some. We want room for luggage. Before, we had da 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 a minivan. And, uh, oh, I gotta take the old ones out. That'll make a huge difference. Go back around the other side. I didn't look very close and didn't even realize that there was some, that the old ones were in here. So we'll get that out of there. All right, so now, put that on there. So we used to have a minivan, and, the, and uh, yeah, the minivan wasn't cool by any stretch of the imagination. Okay, see how that goes down in underneath here? That's kind of cool. And, uh, but it had cargo space. The minivan had cargo space. All right. So now what do we do with these here? Okay, they go in. All right. So they nest in there like that. So it's well thought out. I got to say, it is well thought out. Now, this is not real flat back here, but, but it's actually pretty darn good, especially you nest those in and let them, and I'm sure after the seats are back in their position, it'll nest in there even better. And this, over here overlaps that. Almost invisible where that goes over. So that's, uh, whoops, that's not the way you do that. This is the way you do that. So that gets you into the back seat right there. Okay. Slide that back as far as it'll go. There we go. Now let's talk about the back end. If you're not familiar with the uh, interior back here, you can, uh, th these are normally up, but I had the seats rested down. So when you do this, those go down, this goes down like that, okay? But this back piece that we're putting in, this last fit here, this back piece we're putting in uh, only covers the very back part. So I'm gonna leave these seats up. Uh, this is what it's gonna look like on a regular basis. And it fits in there very snugly, fits right up against there. Like I said earlier, most of the time we'll be traveling and these will be laying down and so I won't have anything covering the backs there unless I go get something that does that so we'll, we'll have to see but anyway great grip on back here same as uh, in in front of the seats and that whole area uh, just the way they've designed it the way they built it it's got a great grip so I will say that I am imp 
impressed. I'm impressed with the thickness of it. Uh, it's It's got the little nubbins back here that grab into the carpet. Uh, it's definitely a good tight fit. There's a little bit of bowing up here. We'll see. I think that's a result of the way it was folded up uh, in the shipping carton. So we'll see how that goes, especially as it gets summer and it heats up inside. Of course, this car will be kept in the garage 95% of the time. And so that's my thoughts on the last fit. And we'll see how it lasts over time. It, it, every indication is that it should give us some really good wear. So until next time, this is the Scott Law, the world's oldest logger, reminding you to keep on keeping on.